Okay, this is a file that I've created in Aspire, and this file's name is Lantern. Four of them new with the tender box. Basically, this file is designed around making four candle lanterns. These are frontiersman style lanterns. They're made out of walnut, oak, maple, uh, cherry, mahogany, and any hardwoods. And it's also getting to the point where we can't find the pine kits that the, they used to manufacture. And uh, I couldn't make them for the price that they were making them because they were mass manufacturing and getting the bargain on the wood. So I didn't compete with that, but I did uh, make these in the, hard, the hardwoods. And it basically fit about the same uh, diameter and everything as the other ones. Just made good sense on all the numbers. And the glasses, uh, hitting the glasses to change out and the panes. Uh, so I went with a design that fit that same design. And it follows pretty much the same uh, uh, conventions in width and height and, and dimensions. This is, of course, the top of the lantern. It's got a little log carved into it. These are the posts for the lantern. There's four posts, and they go from top to bottom. And they're vertical. It stands about oh, 12 inches tall when it's done. And these are your posts that fit down in these holes here. This is the little base for the candle. The candle fits in here, and there's a dowel that goes in this hole. Anyway, this is the lantern kit. These are air vent holes on this, and this is a, a hole where this a hole that this hole right here lines up with that. So it's like a barber slide, and it goes up and down, and it brings your candle to the top. So that's the lantern kit. Been making many of them. Probably made over a hundred of them. So I decided to make a a tinder box kit, and this is a kit that uh, will add on to the bottom of these lanterns and any lantern I made in like the last eight years probably uh, they will fit in the pine uh, lantern so I've kind of designed this kit to fit on there and we'll talk a little bit about it first off uh, the bottom of the lantern I just I needed a uh, adapter that would fit on there so it would just slide into the very bottom of the adapter and what this is 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 that view if you're looking at it from the side here's the bottom of the original lantern and that's your three-quarter inch steel and of course your candle uh, things right here and it's pointing up and these are your dowels then verticals over here that fit down through there and they have of course a dowel in there and then you have your little vent holes where the oxygen would come in and so I left this open so that the air can come through there and you can get a bright flame that way anyway this fits down into this jig kit box and this is the part here that I'm designing now and I've made two of them. Anyway, this is a three-quarter inch piece of wood, about five by a half by five and a half. This is a box jointed box that's six-sided, and it has room in here for two tens. And there's a side view, and this is a or this is a side view, and this is the front view. And this is attached with a screw from the old lantern base into the top of this new base, and this is glued on here. And this uh, part right here, the face. It's cut on the box with a, uh, let me zoom in on that part right there. It's basically cut off when you got your six sided box. It cuts this, so this is like the front of the drawer. And this glues in that, the slide that comes in with the two tens in it is in that. And it just makes a drawer that slides into the bottom of this. So there you go there. Um, along with that, I came up with the, of course, these kits with the, um, lanterns these holes are a little bit bigger than the lantern holes and so they will accommodate a lantern if you know if it's a off a, an eighth of an inch they'll still fit in there pretty close um, I just enlarged the holes just a little bit and uh, those fit down in there and then uh, on top of uh, this is your tray and this piece here is the tray bottom and then this is just your pocketed wood and basically that just glues on to this piece here and that gives you a uh, place for your two tins to fit into so that's that thing and then over here on the box side using the box joint gadget I came up with this box uh, and uh, I increased it by a quarter of an inch just so that the bottom would have a little more room for clearance and of course there's your top your bottom and your two sides and then the ends and this is a gravity latch that fits on the bottom of the box sits right here so when you're carrying the lantern the thing pivots back and forth and it keeps the drawer from sliding out so that's what what that point thing is anyway this is a uh, tinder box and inside this of course tinder tin is a uh, flint and steel and a candle a birthday candle and then in the other side is char wood and some char cloth so you strike your uh, flint and steel uh, and get your char cloth where it's glowing 
you drop that into your burning tin, you pull your tray out, and you can hold it in the tray so because the tin will get really hot, and then you put your candle down into that uh, uh, char wood or char cloth, and you blow on it lightly until it it'll va vaporize the wax and it'll go poof into the flame. So anyway, then you light your candles with it, and that's what this tinder box is. It's designed to stay with the lantern, so you can use you know period correct ways of lighting the count the candle lantern. And that is kind of what I've got going on. I did place third place in Craftsman Fair at our national rendezvous. And I was pleased to get that. I was encouraged to enter it. And I did. And it, it came out real good. Again, this lantern kit is made out of uh, walnut. But we've got them from all kinds of other exists. So uh, that's kind of what I've been doing. And thanks for watching.